You've probably heard of the scent. It's Nicken and I scent, but have you heard of the one from Belfast? Not many people have, and we want him to become the best scientist in Northern Ireland. We have done loads of research, and now we are going to teach you all about John Bell. John Bell was born on 20th of July, 1928. This is where he grew up, 300, number 340, Tate's Avenue. His mother was called Annie, and his father was also called John. John Stuart Bell was called Stuart within the family, so it didn't get confusing. John Bell used to love playing in the fields behind his house. He also liked to play card games and chess with the other boys who lived nearby. He also liked to read science books. Our school is Sweet Street Primary School. John Bell used to go here when it was a secondary school. John Bell went to Fair Street when he was eight years old and he was very successful here so he went to Belfast Technical High School. John Bell took some exams and he was so good at them. He went to Queen's University when he was 16. He went to the physics department to be a laboratory assistant. This is the physics department where John Bell worked. John Bell was really talented and I was able to get top marks in two degrees. One was physics and the other was mathematical physics. When you finish university, you have to try and get a job. John Bell went to go to London to work on nuclear energy. Everyone wanted to work there, but they wanted John Bell because they knew he was smart. I enjoy science, but I prefer the practical more than I like the theory. What about you? I also like science, but the best bit of all is the explosions. Kaboom! John Bell married a physicist named Mary and moved to Geneva and worked on quantum theory. John Bell's ideas led to the development of quantum information theory. This helps with important things such as solving problems impossible for ordinary computers, making sure nobody can eavesdrop on messages, and quantum teleportation like in films, but only for small particles and not people. Unfortunately, John Bell died in 1990 when he was only 62 years old. This was the year he was nominated for Nobel Prize. This was the most important award you could get for scientific discoveries. 